It counts. You know, that's the big thing. You know, last year we started on the road uh, at Pepperdine. It took a tough loss. You know, we're going to schedule one here tonight to get us off and going. Uh, we, we had stretches of, of playing really good. And I, I think what you saw, and I'm sure maybe some of the questions have come out, but you saw the depth tonight. You know, the depth showed out. You know, I thought Alam and, and Sam really sparked us in the first half and blew, blew the game open. Um, you know, that's the first time Makai had played in, boy, two – 10 days maybe. First time Gabe has played in 10 days. Um, so it was good to get those guys on the floor and to get, get a game sweat going. And, uh, you know, really, really pleased overall with only five turnovers in, in any basketball game. And, and the other thing is, too, and I, I want to credit, like St. Tom, they're, they're good. I mean, that's a really good division basketball, three division basketball team. They're 23 and four last year, and they're going to be similar this year. They're going to win a lot of games at their level. Uh, Coach Medina does a fabulous job. And, uh, you know, it's nice to compete against them every year. And you talked uh, about the depth. Uh, you know, it, it's not uncommon in an opener game or beginning game like this for you to, to get everybody out. But I noticed that there was, what, eight minutes left in the first half and you'd already played 10, 11 yeah. guys. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. And the, here's the thing. Like, Alam has had a terrific preseason. And so I have great confidence there. Plus, you know, he helped us last year a lot too, right? But he's matured. He's matured into a leader. I mean, I think he had four assists tonight. I don't. If you look back, I'm pretty sure he didn't have four assists in a game at any game last year. So that's already something to plus. Sam has practiced the last three days like you know, like we were playing Game Seven of the World of the World Championship. So that carried over to his performance on the court. And that's what I told him, you know. And I was really proud of both of those guys. And then you got Andrew and Noah and then Gabe. So we we've got we've got weapons. It just comes down to how much are we willing to sacrifice for the good of the team, because guys' minutes are not going to be what they're used to. And two, how good can we be defensively? You know, those are the two issues, the questions, not issues, questions, that will play out through this season. Yeah, I was looking at the box score from last year's game uh, against these guys. It looks like you, the starter minutes were cut about, about 20%, but those were spread um, across a, a handful of guys playing um, 10, 8, 12, uh, not many, just yeah. two-minute guys. Yeah, no, no, I, 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 I was, like I said, I was really happy to get Gabe and Makai some run. You know, they, they just needed a game, you know, they needed game conditioning. There's nothing like it, you know. We, the other thing is, look, you know, Tim, I'll have to go to the, the books on this one. Last time Rice had a, a half with zero turnovers. I, I, I haven't coached many games where that happens. That, that's impressive. I don't, I don't care where you are, what level you're playing. Somebody usually dribbles the ball to bounds or drops one or, you know, offensive foul or something, and we had zero at halftime. And so if we don't turn the ball over, you know, we're going we're gonna to get shots and we're going to score eventually. You get a, a good wake-up test at, at the beginning. You'll fall behind 7-4 right off the back before the first media timeout. Yeah, it's good to get their attention a little bit, right? But, you know, this is an older group, too. I mean, Max and Trav aren't going to panic. Even Makai, you know, played 1,000 minutes as a freshman last year. Um, Anthony's played a ton of college basketball. So adversity is going to be a good thing for us. We'll face more on Friday night. Good Harvard team coming, coached by a great, great coach, Tommy Amaker. It'll be a big challenge. It'll be fun. You know, we're going to have a nice little fun blackout where uh, fans will be black T-shirts. We'll wear the black uniforms and try to have a little fun Friday night. And then I did want to ask you about Sam. I should know better at this point that you're just going to pluck another three-point shooter out of, out of somewhere. But uh, can you do much better than five for five? For no, I guess, you know, I guess that enters the record books. You can't be better than that, right? Uh, you can shoot more than that, but I don't know if you can be better than that. I'm happy for him. Like I said, he... I'm happy for him because he practiced that way. I didn't know he was going to go five for five. But, but his energy, his attitude, his approach to shoot around, you know, Sam just needs to keep doing that, keep maturing into that kind of player, and, and he can really help us because he's such an energy, you know, guy. Even on the nights he doesn't make shots, he will still help us. Coach, having a guy that size, being able to shoot the ball out on the wing and be able to put the ball on the floor and take his guy inside, that gives you a dual threat just from that one position. What does it feel like to be comfortable to start the season off in that situation? Well, it's nice to have versatile guys. We recruit versatile guys. You know, I want guys that can play multiple positions. Travis can play on the ball and off the ball. Noah can play on the ball and off the ball. Makai can play on the ball and off the ball. And then Gabe, Keanu, Cam, Sam, Anthony all have that wing kind of slasher, 3-4, you know, versatility as well. And now you're seeing young Andrew with his versatility. He can put the ball on the floor. Uh, he almost had two unbelievable dunks. He had one for sure, and the second one would have been, you know, probably Sports Center if he had made that one. 
and he's very comfortable with the ball, and he's versatile. He'll, he can move over and play some four if we need to really play bigger guys. So that's how we recruit, you know, and, and Matthew touched earlier, obviously shooting is paramount in this program, and uh, now it's about getting you know, defensively, just keeping, keep working and, uh, and, and being good enough to, to, to win on Friday night. You mentioned during the offseason about your team get the team getting bigger. Tonight was a inkling of what what's it what it looks what it will hope to look like toward once you get into conference play. Yeah, we need to be bigger, right? We, and stronger. And you know, you you're going to play against these teams in this this new league, and you know, even the ones we played last year. You know, what, where did we struggle? You know, some of these big, strong, athletic teams gave us a hard time, and so we went out and, and got some guys and. You know, Andrew's put on some weight, and if he's a big, strong kid, and, and uh, Keanu and Gabe for freshmen are big, strong kids, um, and uh, we're going to need all that. We're going to need all that right now, and we're just going to be happy about tonight. Anything else? That's it. Coach, thank you.